So I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story about the time that I started my own filmmaking company called Owen Co. Studios. I was working with a partner at this time, and, and this is nothing against him, um, but he he wasn't getting something, some stuff done when, when we were working. And this is not, I, I believe there was a lot going on and there was a lot in his life and I don't, I don't blame it on him at all. There were times where I didn't work. But we were getting a lot of clients. We were getting weddings, we were getting, um, we were, we had, we were partnered with a gym called Lashley's Gym and we were doing videos for them. Um, and one day, there are t tons of other companies by the way, but one day, we, we get there and we record a video for them and my friend, my friend, my coworker says, okay, I'm gonna edit this one so you can let me have the, the SD card for the night. I never got those videos. I never got the edited videos. I tried to ask him if I could edit the videos, if he could send them my way, it never got done. And um, I gave up and I fell. And that's the fall of the Owen Co. Studios. I lost the video, well, lost the client and I lost my coworker. If you found yourself in a similar situation where you've tried really hard and just fell for whatever reason, um, the first thing I'd say is think what what have I what what could I have done? If you couldn't have done anything, you need to you need to forgive yourself and give yourself some grace. But the second thing is what have I done? Have I done similar things? And if I ask myself that question, I could be honest and say yes. There were definitely times where I was lazy. Um, I would say he was busier than me for the most part in the company. But if you've ever had a story like this, um, the moral of the story is you got to get back up. Now, it may take some time, um, but, and some people say don't act on a spark of energy, but if you do get that spark of energy, definitely act on it. Okay, because you're not always going to have those. You're not always going to have a mindset where you want to be productive. So if you want to be productive, go ahead and use that to your advantage and be productive today. Make today a great day. Make it wake up at 6 a.m., go for a run, go to the gym, start working on work that you know has to be done and have fun with it. Find joy in the process. Anyways, the moral of the story is get back up. And it took me about a year, maybe three months to get back up, get to a right mental state. Um, and that was around the time where I started doing self-help videos last. But anyways, here's my game plan for how I'm going to get back up, get back on track, do stuff I love, not spend every day just sitting, watching shows and eating junk food. So the first thing I'm doing is self-help. I'm going to be watching a lot of self-help videos. I'm going to be making self-help videos. And I'm just gonna become obsessed with the process of improving one's self, which that's what self-help is. Uh, meditation, that's gonna be a huge one. I'm gonna be trying to meditate a lot more. I used to do that and I don't do it so much anymore. And honestly, I feel like when I was meditating a, a lot, um, I became very closer to God. I, I, I do believe that there's a God and I, I believe that I was very close to him through meditation. Um, cardio, cardio is a huge one do cardio run run if you can if you if you like running find joy in running there's a lot of euphoria that can actually physically be released in your brain when you run there are actual endorphins that make you happy when you run so go ahead and run and be happy and you know obviously if you have messed up a messed up system right now you're sure you're struggling with drunk food like me i know how that is right now wait for a little bit until your stomach feels better, drink some caffeine and just go. I don't drink some caffeine. If you don't need caffeine, you don't even need it. But that is a hack, I think, to kind of get into the, the mindset of running. Um, and then the last thing is just gonna be eating better. Uh, I'm gonna try to eat better foods. Uh, when I feel the need to cheat, uh, which I do have one cheat day a week, and I, I recommend everyone do that so that you can keep yourself mentally sane. But when I don't have cheat days and I wanna cheat, I'm just gonna cheat on things like Surpri you may be surprised, but Jello. Jello is not very bad for you. Um, Jello, it's it's not that it's good for you, but it's it's very low calories and it's actually very commonly used among bodybuilders uh, for a cheat snack. Uh, yogurt, honey, granola, um, fruits, vegetables, all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, another hack you can do is you can make like protein ice cream stuff like that. There's a lot of cool hacks you can do. Um, and popcorn's not too bad for you either. 
and then drinking water. That's 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 the other thing that I'm going to do. And I, I I encourage you guys to go ahead and follow me along in this journey. If you don't know, you actually need uh, I think it's 16 ounce. No, wait, 60, you need like eight cups of water. Like if it was like a water bottle, you need four water bottles, eight cups of water a day. I think that's what it is. Look it up though, because I'm not sure. Um, but yes, if you want to join me on this, go ahead and what I want you to do is comment down below how you fell recently. You don't have to share everything, not every little detail counts, but um, I would uh, love it and I think it would help a lot of people if you commented how you fell and how you're planning to get back up and then after you write that comment guys if you do write a comment like that directly after drink caffeine smell the coffee whatever do whatever you need to do and get started i want you to just write that comment and then just get started take off start making videos if you want to start making music start being creative with your work and let people see how much uh, it can help to just say, I'm going to get back up and how easy it is to get back up. It seems hard. It seems daunting, but just take the first step. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the video, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment down below what you're planning to do and your feedback. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Carter out.